probably update the stream title as well. Oh, yeah, thank you. Yes, this is not what you were promised, but you're going to accept it, or else. Okay, so um, let me stream in Discord for you, Kong. That way you don't have lag. Oh my god, I have so many windows open. Okay, so yeah, watch my stream, that way you see the plays and can talk in real time with me, right? Gotcha. Just let me know when you're good, and then we can start. Okay, so I commented on this a bit earlier. Masterado is pretty clearly running a rush box with two tanks, two healers, Eunice like Clotaire, and then Falcon on the other hand is running a more standard tank push box, but we also see a cavalry dog. And instead of Landius we see Freya, which in this box, I don't see too much what Freya's going to do. Another buff for Tiny Jess, I think, isn't it? Yes. So there's that at least. So first man Hilda, you can see that Master Auto's box is mostly single target. We see units like Sonya, like Elwyn. They can't really pivot between either AoE or single target. Most of these other units, um, I, 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 I guess Master Auto actually has a pretty balanced box. So, Hilda first ban. With all the diva in this box, I feel like Rosin first ban might have been better. On the other hand, Fal Landius as well. Yeah, on the other hand, Falcon. See those every day. Yeah, Falcon bans these Landius. Days. Oh man. Okay. Give me a second to restart my Discord. I hate this fucking shit so much, and I already messed it up. So. Discord has this. F or Langrisser actually is the problem. Langrisser has this fun thing where if you don't run Discord in administrator mode. Langrisser can't overwrite, and then that means everything I was saying, Kong just wasn't hearing, because I was zoomed into Langrisser. Um, Kong seems to be gone. Okay, yeah, Kong's back. Um, there's this, there's this dumbass problem with, uh... Langrisser and Discord and Discord not being run in administrator mode. You weren't hearing what I was saying, so yeah. That is correct. Yes. Anyway, let's just carry on. First pick Deedlet. Banning out Landius. Relying on, I suppose, Falcon sees all the debuff in Master Rado's box and wants to pick up Deedlit, but then why wouldn't you pick up Rosin? Now let's just put them at equal stages here. Can you 
explain what Clotaire does? Yeah, Clotaire is actually in both of these boxes, which is pretty interesting. Um, the main thing about Clotaire is that he puts on really strong fixed damage debuffs. So if you can prevent debuffs totally, then you neuter a lot of his damage. Also, if you're fixed immune, then Clotaire isn't going to do a lot anyway, because probably about 40 to 50% of his damage comes from the fixed damage portion of his kit. The other thing that he does is he has two act agains and a five range, three line AoE, which means he has 12 range at pretty much all times with his AoE. So he's mostly a rush character. He does have some more diverse things he can do between running Pyromancy for single target or running some other AoEs to utilize the other portion of his 3C. It's a two choice skill. It's either that aforementioned five lane line AoE or it's a guard ignore if he has his debuffs up, but that condition is pretty hard to fulfill. Again, he's a character pretty reliant on landing debuffs, so if Rosin gets picked, then that means Clotaire is generally going to be pretty useless. Let's just play it out and see where we feel. So yeah, Clotaire gets second picked. There's no Rosin in Maserato's box, so it's not going to be... It's not like there's a great means to immunize this Clotaire from Falcon side. Sonya's second pick. Both these players have already opted, or Maserato opted to ban all of Falcon's tanks very early. Um, Hilda first ban, Juggler second ban, then Freya got banned. Probably pause here. This is a very crazy game already. Both players are just going for the trading game. I'm still not particularly sure about first pick D-Lit on Falcon side. As you can see, uh, Maserato is just picking all cavalry units, so... What is there for D-Lit to snipe? I guess that's the rationale there. I feel that Falcon should have picked T-Jess a lot higher here, because she's a unit that can stay back very easily, and then teleport in and snipe a unit. Masterado at this point has been banned out of all his healers, but he does have a Kaya to give him some really good rush opportunities. Letting Akaya free here with no tank is pretty dangerous for Falcon, yeah. But it's also a bunch of single target against a bunch of single target, because Clotaire can be ran a single target too, as needed. So yeah, let's see where this goes. Rosin gets picked up here by Falcon, and it's... Probably a mistake for Masterado to leave Rosin up this long. The main thing is Clotaire, Himiko, Reen, Bozel, they're all really going to be affected by this Rosin pick. Even Elwyn and Sonya don't really like it that much. Yeah. Sonya more so when it's a tank, because she should kill any of these units, right? Mm-hmm. And of course, you pick up the Omega. He's the most useful unit out of all these four left against what Falcon has. And Falcon here... I think Wyler looks good. You could also run Laurentia and bring Rosin Faction buff. That would also help these other Empire units. Leon usually doesn't like to bring his faction buff. Yeah, man, the two most annoying units. And yeah, Florentia, we're probably going to see Rosen Empire buff plus Florentia combo. 
And I think I still pick Clotaire here as Masterado because you can just run single target Clotaire. Even if Rosin is going to prevent a lot of the AoE shenanigans, then if you just run double single target plus Pyromancy, you get a snipe on a unit. If you snipe, say, Leon, then Clotaire shouldn't be able to be killed by any of the other things remaining. Maybe d -Lit, I guess. So yeah, and that's what we see. So Clotaire on both sides. However, uh, Maserato did not opt to run single target Clotaire. I would really like to see that here. Omega not running double act again. I don't... I guess it depends on whether or not you're worried about people countering your Omega with skill. But I feel that the better reach of double act again would be better here. Plus the cycling. And everybody else is pretty standard. You could maybe say not running faction buff on Ellen is a bit greedy here, but it's always going to be awkward when you're playing Akaya because she overwrites buffs, so she, or more specifically faction buffs. So even if you bring faction buff and then cast it, Akaya could just overwrite it unless you leave Ellen out of range. But then you might... Against this team, you don't need 30% attack. So yeah, I'd probably just move Ellen like right there. Yeah, let's see how it goes. Um, I don't think I checked skills composition for left side, actually. Yeah, Leon running 3C Chiv, standard. Um, yeah, Searing Void. And 3C. So not double act again, Clotair on Falcon side. I think the idea here is that you're fighting a composition with absolutely no heals, so Searing Void's big range could be pretty effective against Maserato's team, because even Akaya brought Bone Dino, Son Sonia didn't even bring Werewolves, they both could have brought Werewolves and have some additional sustain. But yeah. Sometimes when you're playing with Akai, it can be good to wait a turn before you activate your wolf. It lets you shave, save Blood of the Sheikah for additional follow-up. But it looks like Masterado wants to immediately play the trade game. Just kill off this Clotair. Easy response for Leon, but again, this is the trade game, so D-Lit dies here. You kill D-Lit because she has an available action. Omega doesn't need to move. And yeah, Shinobi finish it. That game went very quickly. As expected, I guess, with those picks. Both players were ready for a game of that pace, I think. Yeah, um, that's why I spent so much time in band pick. Okay, so hide in my screen so people don't see who won. Yeah, there we go. We're back in. Not noticing any changes to the rosters for game two. Yeah, it looks like they're both running the exact same box. That's something you should take advantage of.
you know that... Well, I mean, I guess both players are just more comfortable playing a rush style. You know that both players are really light on healing. But yeah, but let's, just, let's just play through it. This time, Masterado first picks Akaya. He saw that the rush strategy and the trading game was very effective last time. Maybe Falcon pushed up, pushed up a bit too much. Falcon responds by pick, first picking Elwyn himself. Like Masterado did last game. But now Masterado is willing to pick a tank. Still, Elwyn is pretty good against Dog. Falcon picking up Rosin to shut down most of the debuff in Masterado's box. But Omega gets picked. The fastest single target answer to a lot of picks on Falcon's comp. On the other hand, now we have Ares Elwin combo against this juggler. But Falcon doesn't have a tank, and so this means this Sonya can really do some damage. Well, now he does with Burn if he chooses to bring Iron Fist, but Burn should probably die to Sonya. And so we have these teams. We have Player 2 Florentia with Burnheart faction buff, so plenty of act against spam. But on Masterado's side, we have a solid single target trader in Sonya. We have Himiko to deal out some annoying debuffs to the entire team. Ares and Elwyn can avoid them. Burn, Rosin, and Florentia, not so much. And then we have a dog who I think is probably Falcon's biggest problem because it feels like by the time Falcon gets through Masterado's dog that it will be too late. You've already lost too many units. What are your thoughts, Kong? Yeah, I agree. Um, even if it takes a turn for the the Elwin Ares combo to take Dog down, that just gives Masterado a lot of time to pick off those characters with Sonya and Omega. We still have Act Again spam from Florentia, so maybe that can open up some opportunities. Now let's look at skills. AoE Ares, um, running Sword Dance Burn as well, so the idea there, but this is also not a Boots Burn, it could be Breeze, it just means just the nature of these units means it's going to be hard to reach them with Burnheart and Ares. Especially when you have a comp like Falcons that just doesn't last that long. And he keeps getting forced into double healer picks because of these early Rosman picks, right? Elwyn doesn't need to bring buff, but... I'd, I'd probably prefer a Frontal Assault just to deal with this Omega better. And again, Master Auto runs Knowing Strike. I feel like against this, these sort of teams, you can probably afford the Double Act again. But the Omega does look a little bit weak, so maybe he's not competent in his Omega. Interestingly, we see so or Akaya go for the turn one act again on Sonya. This gives over a turn priority to your opponent, but since your opponent has Florentia, that means they're going to give turn priority back to you when they use act again. Um, also, if Sonya scores a kill here, which she will since Burn didn't bring a guard, even if Burn brings a guard, Sonya still probably scores that kill. But yeah, Sonya scores a kill here, then Akaya gets another wolf, and she can just Bestial Outbreak next turn. Oh, the Sonya hasn't moved yet, it was just a teleport? I mean, that's fine too. But yeah, uh, 
Fair enough. Yeah, kills the other one. It is Heaven Guard Sonia, so even with a basic area should kill, but it's not a great trade. So yeah. There is not too much to say about this after that. Wow. I'm surprised that burn killed that even ago. It actually seems like Falcon's early Rosin picks kind of bit him in the ass. Because Masterado could just pick single target comps to effectively deal with it, right? The <laughs> juggler dies. <laughs> That was pretty surprising. But yeah. Like, Omega could solo win this game. It's interesting, I feel, with the... kind of surprising level of success that Falcon had picking off Masterado's units. If he had been able to... Uh, stay back and set up on turn one without getting picked off by that teleported Sonya, then he might have had a better chance there. Yeah, it's maybe Falcon pushing up too much. And yeah, that's, that's, that's that. That was, thankfully, the last group stage review. We still actually have quite a few round of 64 matches to review and a couple round of 32. Um, but, let me see where the other players are at. Yeah, it, it looks like they're just going to reschedule to another day. I'm tired. <laughs> thank you for joining me, Kong. Well, thank you. It was, uh, if you're tired, it's good to have a couple of rush games to review because you know that they're not going to last for 45 minutes each. That's very much true. Most of my casts take an hour. This one took like 20 minutes. So yeah, um, thank you for joining me, Kong. Um, this will Thanks be, for having me. Yeah, this will be the end of my stream. Do you have any closing thoughts? Thanks everyone for joining Kata's stream. Okay, yeah. Um, thank you guys for watching, and bye!